Well, hello, everybody. How is everybody doing this wonderful January 6th, the sixth day of January? My name is Petra, and the name of this channel is Petra's Happy Place. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, it has been a long time since I've come on, and um, I just thought I would uh, take advantage of every opportunity I can to be able to film. And today is a snow day. <laughs> I left work. Um, we um, had some really bad weather come in and um, just came home and I thought, well, this would be as good a time as any. I apologize. You're not going to be able to hear me quite as loudly. Let me see if I can I'll bring it a little bit closer to me. So hopefully you won't have to strain too hard to hear me. Um, I'm recovering from something have no idea what it is, but um, I don't have COVID as far as I know, um, as far as I've been told twice. <laughs> so, um, but I still have a lingering something or other going on. <clears throat> so I have a little bit of soda here so I can sip on just in case uh, I get a little parched or I feel a little dry in my throat. So today, as you can uh, see from the title, I just wanted to um, show some blankets. Now, <laughs> funny thing is I had put aside a basket of blankets, <clears throat> and I say blankets, I use that term very loosely. Basically, they're just little lap throws, um, and um, I had already called and made arrangements to donate them to a, a memory care facility. Actually, it's the one that I'm hoping not the memory care facility, but the place where I'm hoping that my mom might be able to go at some point here in the near future. But anyway, that is a whole other subject. But um, anyway, <laughs> I got on um, YouTube yesterday and I saw a friend, Julie the Whippy Chick. She was showing all the blankets she's made and I thought <laughs> she's giving them to um, a homeless shelter and I thought... <laughs> Isn't that funny how great minds are thinking alike, Julie? I'm just saying. I'm going to put a link to her channel in the description box below. Um, and I need to make myself a little notation to make sure I remember. So hold on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so most of these blankets I've made, and I was just kind of using scrap yarn or something. If I if there's a pattern, which I doubt there was any pattern to anything that I made here, but if I remember anything, I will let you know what they are. And um, I I have so much scrap yarn, guys. I mean, I have enough scrap yarn to make probably two or three king size blankets. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me just show you what I do have. So um, some of you might remember, I picked up some blanket yarn um, that Joann's had. And, okay, I loved it. I loved the idea of it. I thought, I'm going to knock out a whole bunch of blankets. I don't know why I keep going back to blanket yarn. I, ca I can't use it, guys. I can't use it. So if you see me get blanket yarn, or at a store and saying, I'm going to get blanket yarn. Tell me, stop, stop. <laughs> Don't do it <laughs> because I can't use it. It hurts so much to use. It hurts my shoulders, my wrists, my arms. I just, I, I can't use it. Anyway, I was able to make one and I think I used two skeins. I can't remember. I, can't, I think I used two skeins. Maybe it was one, but it's just a little, a little lap blanket. Probably <clears throat> this looks about two and a half by, oops, oh, probably three and a half foot. And it's just using a V-stitch. And I just wanted to throw something, real quick, it real quick. But um, as a, again, as I said before, I am donating them to... Um, a memory care center and 
and I say, I use that term very loosely because the majority of them, they, they're very bright. They're just spot on. But I just thought, you know, this would be, it's a, it's a smaller uh, um, a community. And I thought, you know, a lot of them are in wheelchairs or if they're just sitting in their recliner just to have something to put over top of their laps to keep their legs warm. But this is a nice color and that could be for gentlemen. What do you guys think? Okay, so um, there's two blankets, <coughs> excuse me, that I did not make that were made by somebody else and that were gifted to my dad when he had, when he was suffering from cancer um, in his, the last um, several months of his life, the church made a couple of like little lap gans for him and and it was very sweet, but he just never really used them. And so I thought, what better way to make use of them than to gift them? But I wanted to show them to you because I just think they, it was such a nice idea. Now, this one is knitted. I can tell because it's just pearl stitch. But um, but it's a, <laughs> it's just like, it almost looks like a wrap. And I guess I guess you kind of could use it as a wrap. Um, it looks to be about five foot long, maybe, maybe about five foot long and about two two foot wide. So you can use it as a wrap. But I'm thinking if you doubled it up, because it is kind of an open work. But you could definitely tell either either it's done with Tunisian. No, it's definitely knitted. It's a knitted. It's like a lace knitted. Um, and um, using a lot of pearl stitches, a lot of lace and pearl stitches. I don't knit, but I can tell what a pearl stitch is. So anyway, I thought, okay, if it's doubled up, it's just nice to kind of be able to put on your lap. Or, you know, if it's a lady and and she just gets kind of chilled around her, around her shoulders, she can just kind of drape it around her shoulders. But I thought that was kind of nice. What do you guys think? Um, and you know, come to think of it, I think this might have been made for my mom while, uh, you know, they gave something to my dad. They gave, they made this for my mom, maybe, you know, I can't remember. So anyway, that was not made by me. Okay. Then I have this one. This is also that blanket yarn, but this is a different, <coughs> excuse me. It sounds worse than it is, guys. Yeah, it's 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 nasty. But okay, anyway. Some of you might remember I was when I got uh, when I was in Oklahoma City, I saw a blanket that I wanted to replicate, like a little. It was like a little lamb blanket, but I never did finish it. I made the blanket part of it, but I never did make the arms and the legs. Or since sheep don't have l arms. <laughs> <laughs> the four legs and the head and the tail. Anyway, I just, it's just a, a square and I, <clears throat> it's a bobble stitch. Isn't it pretty? And it's just an off white color and it's only about two and a half feet square, but it, it's warm. It's very nice and warm. And I figure it's got these little bobbles that make kind of like <clears throat> a nice, um, a textual uh, kind of a, a, a blanket for somebody. I thought that might make a nice little blanket. I'm trying to put it back in the box that it that I had them all nicely stored in. Okay, so that's three, and I think I had a total of about eight, and I think there's only eleven or twelve in the actual in the actual unit and the they call it a community. I love that. It's like it's just like a little community and <clears throat> and I told the the gal who I, I'm in contact with um I said, you know, even if you don't have enough, maybe you could use them as prizes, you know, like if they played bingo and 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 they they could win a prize, they could win a blanket. Wouldn't that be kind of nice? <clears throat> okay, now this one I'm trying to remember. I'm thinking it started off as a as a um, 
Yeah, I'm thinking that it started off as a temperature blanket because it's got lots of colors in it. It has a lot of my favorite colors in it. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure this was a temperature blanket. It wasn't the only one that I ever made, but yeah, I, it's, I just used a lot of my favorite different colors, different teals. It has some gray. It has like a, this is coming across black, but it's actually a um, eggplant purple. Let me see here. You can kind of see it. It's like an eggplant purple. There's some yellow and some different colors of purples and grays. And I put a nice little shell border on it. Um, but anyway, it was a nice little nice little blanket <coughs> excuse me so um and that was the probably one of the larger sizes so that that is kind of nice right keep somebody nice and warm and it's in the middle of winter here this it got really bad the weather finally turned this january 6th the first cold day of the season okay so this hmm, i'm thinking i used also some this i um, think i used cotton yarn on and i cannot remember which i think this is paint oh yes this is the paint box cotton that i got from dana from dana's wanderlust crochet i won um some paint box cotton so i got right dana down here um so I won it from her and I used all of it to make, I just went back and forth to all, I just took all the different colors, the bright colors, the, aren't they pretty? And I used, um, did I use anything but a V-stitch? Nope, that's all I used is a V-stitch. And I didn't put a border on it at all. It's just, uh, just a V-stitch using teals and purples and pinks and greens. Yeah, so there you go. That's another um, little blanket. Now this also is a pretty good size. I would say it's probably about five and a half foot by four foot. It's a good size little blanket. Um, and you know, some of these, um, I'm sure um, people would really enjoy having them like at the end of their bed. They're pretty and colorful, right? Now this one I used, um, I used the Sugar Wheel Cotton, the minis, and I just got uh, a whole bunch of them and I color controlled them. Basically I cut out the colors and I separated the colors <clears throat> and I just made something of just, I mean, it's very small. It's, you know, it's like a little baby size blanket, but again, it's, it's just big enough to lay over your lap. And um, I just think, I think these, these gentlemen and these ladies that will be getting some of these, I think they're going to enjoy having them. Um, you know, and a lot, and I didn't think about this, but you know, some of the residents, some of these people in the community, they might even have, you know, I, I don't know how much you guys know about memory care um, in, in, in residential care, but um, a lot of times they have like a baby doll or something that um, it will help them feel the connection. And so maybe they can use them for that. Who knows? Now, this also is one of the bigger ones. And this I use, this is, um, I don't know if it is Pipsqueak. No, it's not Pipsqueak. It's the Hobby Lobby version of Pipsqueak, which I can't remember the name of, of that particular yarn. But um, I, let me think here. It looks like I paired it with um, a three weight in a white. Mm -hmm, I did. I paired it with a three weight acrylic. Um, but this is the colors. And again, I used a V stitch, but here <coughs> I alternated rows of V stitch and double crochet. 
I just alternated the rows. But this is a good size. This is about three foot by about four foot. So that's a nice size. And because of that fuzzy, again, it has a nice texture on it. And it makes it, it I think it will make it a nice little gift for somebody. So, in fact, you know what I think I'm going to do? I, I am going to go ahead and um, gift these, obviously. But, um, like I said, I have so much, I have so much scrap yarn that um, I think I'm going to go ahead and whip up a couple um, and, like, using maybe two strands together and with a larger hook and kind of whip up um, a couple more of these little uh, lap throws so that nobody will feel left out. I think I might do that. I think that's a good idea. So the last one I have, and they even have a little tag on it from the church. <coughs> Excuse me the church that um, my dad was going to at the time. So this is the actual one. This is, the, it's called the Knitting Ministry. And um, I'm going to keep it doubled up this way, but you can see it's a good size. And, and I like to see this. Okay, so here I've got the corners together. There's that little tag that they have, which is kind of nice. I like that idea. You know, if you have a ministry that's going to be donating, but I, this is what I like. <laughs> I like that imperfection. I like that. I know that might make other people squirm, but the fact that, you know, it's not so much that it's perfect, but that it gets used, you know? So this is probably about, three foot um, uh, wide, and then probably a good four foot long. And it's got all these beautiful rust uh, browns, uh, very much of a fall colorway. <coughs> so, and again, it's knitted. Um, so I just thought that that would be nice. And, and like I said, I'm going to be um, adding this and the other one that uh, they had made. I'm going to add those to the stack of ones that I made to be able to donate them. So that's what this video is all about. I really did want to just share those with you. Um, like I said, I've got a lot of three weight yarn. Um, I have a lot of um, Yes, I have a lot of three-weight acrylic, but I also have enough of the three-weight Be So Baby yarn from Kristen Omdahl the, and the cotton Kobu blend, um, the Kobu or the, um, uh, let's see here, Kobu and the, what's the other one, the Lion brand that's just the bamboo, Trubu, Trubu. Um, I have a lot of those, and I just might make a striped blanket with that. Wouldn't that be kind of nice? Just kind of use up and that would be soft and silky. I think somebody would really like that. So yeah, I mean, I have enough of that yarn to be able to make easily whip up three here in the next couple weeks, you know, maybe make three little uh, lap blankets to be able to add so that everybody will be able to get one. Um, I'm, I really like the idea that the community is very small. So, um, just to wrap this up, I, I wanted to, um, um, I don't know, kind of do like a little update on that area of my life. Okay, so um, a lot of you have been praying, and I so appreciate your prayers um, for my mom and the situation. Many of you know the situation I'm going through right now with mom. Excuse me. Um, but, um, it just seems like right now we're kind of like in a holding pattern and it's not because of any one particular thing. We, I found a beautiful, beautiful place for her and I would, we would, I would, I personally would really like for her to go live there. It would take so much, um, 
mental, you know what I'm saying? Mental pressure off of me. I don't this. I haven't been visiting mom every day be, lately because of not feeling well. <coughs> but um, the idea uh, that I wouldn't have to go there every day to make sure that everything's taken care of because somebody else would be there to make sure that all that stuff is taken care of. And it is very expensive. And that is one of the reasons that we're having a hold up, kind of like in that holding place is that uh, my brother and I are trying to just do a lot of praying and make sure that this is exactly the thing that we need to do. But um, this little community if, if I could get my mom to to be um, a resident there, I just think that would be the most lovely um, thing. And I know I would be doing a lot for the community um, because I would love, I would love, love, love to do more of this kind of thing, right? <clears throat> Um, I know that there would be a lot of people there, uh, men and women, um, that would not only enjoy it, but maybe they would really enjoy doing something with yarn. Um, maybe I could find some bigger yarn and teach how to like use the, and it would be, anyway, I got, I got some big dreams. <laughs> Not sure that they're all going to get fulfilled, but um, I, I just think it would be a lovely, lovely thing to do. Um, and as far as like my, my videos that are coming out, um, I, I don't want to make any promises. I, I have so many things that I am wanting to work on. I've got things set aside here that <clears throat> I want to share with you guys and, um, things in here that I want to share and things written out on <coughs> the notebook that I want to share. I've got them all over the place. Um, but it's just a matter of making sure that, number one, it's the right time. Number two, that I don't feel rushed or pressured because I think that, and you guys have been such a blessing to me. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for doing this. You guys have been um, just so kind and considerate and still supportive in this time that I haven't been on um, YouTube and I haven't been filming and I haven't been, you know, putting myself out there as much lately. And I really appreciate the fact that you're sticking around and that you care about me and that you're, you're wanting to support me. And you're basically saying, you just take the time you need to, to get to the place where you need to be. And then we're going to be here waiting for you. I just think that that's just such a lovely thing. And I so much appreciate it. So for now, I think that's all. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put Julie's link in the description and I'm going to put Dana from Wanderlust Crochet. Now she, I haven't seen a whole lot of Dana lately. I think she's another one that's kind of like pulling back, not just so much because she doesn't want to be part of the community, but just because she doesn't want to feel the pressure. So I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of your day. Um, be safe out there, everybody. Be safe. Be kind to yourself and be generous and gracious to others around you. Okay. We love you. I love you. Thank you so much for being a part of my community and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.